Welcome to the Narrowboat at James Bill. Hope you're well, thanks for joining me. Well, it's a beautiful day. It's kind of 33 degrees out here today, and Rob and I have got to move the boats from Ricky all the way up to kind of Boxmoor back to Berkhamsted Way. So we've got a lot of mileage to crack on with. Got the kids on board. They've got live jackets and sun cream on. Let's get cracking. <laughs> Right, well today hasn't started well. You may recall in the last video I said that there was a problem with Rob's boat. He can't start his engine. Well, he can, but he can't turn his prop. So uh, we're going to have to investigate what's going on here before we do anything. So I'll leave my boat here and head back. It's a umbrella. <laughs> An umbrella. I'll beat that out, mate. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's a power Shit. What the? Oh my god. I hope it hasn't damaged it. Oh no. Damage the umbrella or damage no, the No, let's just be slightly serious. It's only if I can do that real far. <sighs> Some people are unbelievable. You'd have thought if you got back to your boat and you didn't have a parasol on the back that you had when you left it, you'd get into the cut as opposed to let some other poor boater pick it up on their prop. Anyway, that's exactly what's happened. We've got rid of the easy part, which is the umbrella. Now we've got the huge parasol to get rid of. It's really tightly wound around the prop and the prop shaft. It's non-rip material, so it's not proving particularly easy. I've walked back to my boat to get as many serrated edges and blades and saws as I can lay my hands on um, but also because of comments made in the last video when Rob basically did all the dirty work I've got my swimming trunks on and my shoes so I can get in the cut as well four hands are better than two and there's so much angle line and rubbish in the bottom of the cut I don't want to rip my feet open and this is it this is the offending piece so obviously this is through the weed hatch, which we can access some of the material. The thing is, we don't really want to be taking this stuff off because of the lack of purchase available to us. We actually want to keep this on because when you're tugging it from outside the boat, it kind of gives you enough purchase that you've got some leverage on it. Um, we're using all the kind of tools we can at the moment, but it's not really budging at all. It is really tightly wound around this prop shaft. And now, for you guys, it is time to hand over the camera to the children. So, you know, he's going to get in. Good I luck. Need commentary. You do need I commentary. Need commentary around here. Whatever. Yeah, it's going to be really funny. It's a running commentary. Oh, poor Bob. Well, it's cold, so we're taking it in turns. Of course it's cold. The more you're in, the warmer it'll get. Well... Oh, just dive, just do a cannonball. Yeah. Can I put you, use your gloves? Well, I'm just coming out. Okay, I'm going in. Wind's going out, wind's going in. Oh, wait, it's not going to be How 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 was it, Rob? Yeah, Rob, how was it? How was it? Cold. Cold. Oh. Also, that one I found on the shop. Shut up. 
Goodbye, Daddy. Bloody hell, that's cold. Is it fun? Jesus. A little bit of a splash. I think he likes it, guys. Maybe. I think he likes it. I think he hates it. His facial expression. Shut up. Like Would you shut up for a oh. sec? Oh, I can't see it anymore. Let me just get my breath. I don't know how you do this in such a style. Well, Rob and I have been going at this now for about an hour and a half and we haven't made any headway, it seems. We've got a, it's a huge kind of parasol, but we're taking it in turns because it gets a bit chilly in the water. We've got 37 degrees outside. Well, is it 37 outside? I don't know. Something like that. But we've got a variety of blades. I'm using the Japanese pool saw, serrated blade. We've got some other saws and knives, but this parasol does not want to budge. It's completely wrapped around the prop. It's the shaft, not the propeller. Oh, you pass me the serrated blade, the blue one. What about a long saw? I've got a really long one. I don't know if we're going to... I think the length is just... Try. It's a bit hot, isn't it? Not in there, it's not. Say again? Not in there, it's not. Have you, have you been in? Yeah. I'm not jealous of that. Access is tough, so we're looking for some goggles and snorkel. There's no one at all around. Tim's on his way up. We're doing quite a depth on that. Right, so after three hours of us struggling, it is time to call in the professionals. This is Tim from Woodhall and Haywood. I'm not sure, I, you know, this is, I've just, what I've done is just picked hold of a bit that's hanging down. Yeah. So, but, but, you know, hell. It all gets rid of it. We're learning shall techniques. We, uh, we're learning shall, techniques. Shall we do a comparison of piles of rubbish? I think I'll quit while I'm winning. Well, you're winning at the moment. <laughs> that's why I say I'm going to quit while I'm winning. Daddy, I'm stuck. But, um, okay. say that none of our tubs have got weed hatches, except the little tiny ones. Mainly because I would have to be advertising for crew with arms four foot long just to even reach the prop shop. 
saw a lot of your boats in London. Yeah, thank goodness for that, because they're all earning money. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Well, what I found was quite nice, once we'd made the association with, with where the, where they came from, and we went, oh, there's another one. Yeah. Yes, it's... um. Lindy and I were both fortunate to come on the canal about 10 years after commercial boating had stopped, so mid-70s. Um, so we had the benefit of, of some really fabulous old boys who knew how to boat, yeah. had been boating all their lives. And... Um, Shall I push it out of it? Um, fantastic, and, and <laughs> it's an irony, you know, we're getting the age now, but actually, we, we, we now know what questions to ask. advantage of the weed hatcher, I've always thought, is theoretically you ought to be able to see what you're doing. Yeah. So in conjunction with a long shaft like this, you should be able to get it in just the right place. Unfortunately, inevitably you get a little tiny bit of oil, or you get a shadow on the surface of the, of the weed hatch. You can't see it. Yeah. It's where you need a really powerful light. And I've often thought that maybe what we should have a really good submersible lights. lights that we can just hang down beside the propeller. Mm, this is the law of diminishing returns. <laughs> is there much more on it? Yeah, it feels like you just Yeah, the props are turning so. Oh, you got some. Brilliant. That's what I like to see. Yeah, the big the thing that we've got now, I've got some movement on the prop. Well done. Well, I've got a nice big gobby bit. All I've got to do is to get it to release. And uh, so we put it on the sill. Chalk Farm Road, got it off, picked up the hopper, got another 30 yards, picked up a tyre. So we said, oh, back up. Can you turn the propeller? Yeah. Turn the propeller then, and I'll tell you whether we're winning or not. Turn it. What clockwise? One way or other. That's it. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Brilliant. And um, got the tire off. By this time, it was about three o'clock in the afternoon. We had to get to bow, and we were getting a bit despondent. We put the hopper back on. We got another 20 yards. We picked up a carpet. And this time, we, we didn't say a word to each other. Not a single word. We simply closed the tug up, tied it to some scaffolding that was at the back of a new housing development. Climbed through the scaffolding, scared the blooming security guard to death because we'd come off the canal. Got on the train, I never said a word. Got on the train, got out to Hillingdon, walked out of the station, straight into the Six Feathers, <laughs> two pints of lager. We didn't say, hadn't said a word at all. And he said, that's the worst day boating I've ever done. Walked down there the next morning, eight o'clock, shaft on it, pull, off came the carpet. Bow by three o'clock in the afternoon. Couldn't believe it. But that was the worst day. Now, how are you doing there, young man? I think... Are we clear? I think we are clear. Yeah. Well, you better try it then. Ugh. 
they don't actually make it any easier because they put this sort of diving step on. This is a plastic boat killer. You can slit a plastic boat just underneath the waterline with that thing Excellent. sticking out the side. So if you wanted to, that's handy. It's useful. Some of them I'd quite like to do it. <laughs> but no, I mustn't be unkind. Um, but of course, what it is, it's right in the way of getting to the line of the propeller if you want to use the shaft. The other thing I don't like about weed hatches is because they reduce the buoyancy at the back of the tug because they fill with water. You've got that cube. Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Winner! Who? Who? You are! <laughs> I, I don't need it, it's fine. I'm, I'm glad you're mobile again, that's the main thing. Tim, thank you very, very much for thank your help. Thank you. That's all right. You, you want to get yourself I just a... give you a, a, a hot, sweaty oh. hug? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're the best. You've got a leaf in your hair. Uh, more than likely, yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. like we just say? It's like, it's like Hero! Hero! <laughs> get out And here. Oh, you're a hero as well. And uh, the, uh, well, a hero a for getting in the somewhere. water. Yeah. Uh, oh, my right, there you go. Oh. Can I get you... Or something. No, that's absolutely fine. Go and enjoy your boat. Well, no, well, well, next time we're down here, we'll um, say hello. Yes, that'll be good enough for me. Sure. I, I must admit, you're very brave. I, I resist getting in the water. That I have an antipathy for getting in the for that purpose. It seems to me there's got to be better ways. Of doing well, there's got to be better ways of getting wet. <laughs> yes. Much more enjoyable ways. There we go. Actually, uh, have you got a long shaft like that with a hook on it? Well, after a several hour delay, we're now ready to get going again. And that just wouldn't be made possible without the amazing skill and experience from the professionals at Woodhall and Hayward. So thank you so much, Tim. You have really saved our bacon and showed us exactly what to do in this situation. So you guys down there, you are stars. Thank you once again. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.